Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and actually, this video is different, because we're going to be reacting to someone, someone exquisite, someone who animates, look at this art, anyways, so we're going to be looking at the legendary Jaden animations, so we're gonna check out her most viewed videos so this is her most viewed video 91 million views all right i attempted my first pokemon Nuzlo nuzlocke if you have not subscribed to me or Jaden animations what are you doing you goofball Make sure to subscribe and like to both of these channels and make sure to hit that notification bell. Well, what do we have to wait for? Let's watch the amazing Jaded Animations. I'm going to start the video in 3, 2, 1, go! In community, there's a set of self-imposed rules you can add to the games to make them more challenging, called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game under those conditions. I've wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the longest time. I've started a couple in the past, but never actually got to finish any because busy. But today's the day that all changes. I decided to make a video on my first full attempt at a Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Let's see how it went. So everyone, so I am a very big Pokemon nerd when I was like uh, young, like maybe like five or something. Then I stopped being a Pokemon nerd, but now I'm starting to remember some Pokemon. So it's like Pretty awesome that we get to see our first YouTuber playing Pokemon. Because Pokemon is one of the... Pokemon is a pretty good... Pokemon is a pretty good thing to do. Like, pretty fun game to play. And yeah. I have never done a Nuzlocke, though. But let's get right into the video. After breaking free from the back of the moving truck my mom stuffed me in and introducing myself to the neighbor Brendan, the kid that I always thought was a monkey said that he heard screaming up ahead. Professor Birch is getting mauled by a level 2 Poochiana, so I let his Torchic out and she scratches the crap out of it. He gifts me Torchic for rescuing him and I name her Teriyaki, my first Pokemon. Walking up the route more, I run into Brendan who challenges me to a battle, where Teriyaki proceeds to also scratch the crap out Bruh, this is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, this guy, uh, not Teriyaki, not right now. His uh, Axolotl Pokemon. I honestly forgot the name of it, but yeah. Honestly, I think Wooper is my second favorite. I know a bunch of people say that. Uh. Uh, I know a bunch. Of, actually, not a bunch of people. I know. I know some Pokemon nerds say that Wooper looks the, like the off brand version of uh, Ditto, which is which is right. But look at him. My favorite types are water types. So kind of like it's kind of like cute and. Uh, water. I mean, kind of cute and water type at the same time. So it's kind of my favorite Pokemon. Let's get back into the video. It was Mudkip. Good job, Teriyaki. You're two for two. Doing great. Professor Birch gives me five Pokeballs, and the Nuzlocke has officially started. I walked back up to catch my first Pokemon and ran into a Zigzagoon. All right, not the best, but I can work with this. You know, I think we're gonna have a really awesome adventure. Dude! So Teriyaki one-shotted Zigzagoon with a critical hit scratch, but whatever. I remember, oh my god, I remember one-shotting all, every single, I remember, I had a sun Pokemon. It was, uh, I think, Charmeleon. I had Charmeleon, okay. 
if you don't know, Charmeleon is the second evolution of Charmander. But anyways, so I had Charmeleon. I was literally one shotting everyone, bro. Anyways, let's let's just get back into this because Contain your murder a little bit, all right, guy? Route 102 is right around the corner, and that's where I was able to catch Corn the Sea Dot. Look at us, couple of friends ready to take on the Hoenn region together. After watching the weird kid Wally struggle to catch his first Pokemon, I continued on to Route 104 and found a little Talo in the grass. Aggressive and screams and hungry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh... I only watched a few, okay, a few uh, data animation videos, but I know that Ari is data animation's bird. That's what she's about to name her. I know your I name. I think so. Pen yeah. But, anyways, so, yeah, like, uh, yeah, well, let's get back into it. Spielberg Forest, a Team Magma Grunt jumps some random professor, so Ari and Teriyaki peck his eyes out. Oh, hello, Shroomish. I'm gonna name you Onion. I make it to Rustboro, and while getting ready to take on Roxanne's gym, Teriyaki kills another Zigzagoon I was about to catch. What's your problem with Zigzagoons, dude? But it turned out alright, because she also ended up evolving. Onion was able to destroy Roxanne with ease, and we got our first gym badge. Exiting the gym, we catch a glance that Team Magma is up to no good again. Something about the scorching earth or something. And this old man exclaims that they stole his Pico. Here's your dog! Also, you're coming with me. The mayor thanks me by turning me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. Alright, what do we got? Ugh. Okay, you chomps. I remember being so scared of this Pokemon. This Pokemon? Yeah, After finding this. Steven, it was time to- Let me- let me try and see him. Stole his pee- Go. Okay, sorry for rebinding. Here's your that dog! Also, you're coming with me. The mayor thanks me by turning me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. Alright, what do we got? This Pokemon. This Pokemon. This gimme- give me such creeps, bro. I always had a fear of... Uh... Like those, uh, Venus flag traps, and... Uh... Uh, man, uh, praying mantis. Also, tarantulas. I'm still scared of tarantulas till the day. But until today, I just realized they don't really, they're not common inside of areas like where I am. So, I was so happy. But I was, I was so scared of this Pokemon. Every single time I saw this Pokemon, I literally closed the game, and then when I spawn, and I spawn, then I opened it back up, spawned in the the starting area, and then go back to that area, and the Pokemon was gone. That's literally what I did. I was so scared of that Pokemon. Anyways, let's continue this. Ugh. Okay, you chomps. After finding Steven, it was time to take on Brawly, the next gym leader. Ari's a stone-cold killer and easily earned MVP in that fight. Things were going well, two badges in, and the team is looking good. On my way to the next city, I caught a tentacle on the beach. <sighs> Squidward. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Why? Wait, I just paused on the best frame. The funniest frame, probably. The Squidward is the I mean, Tentacruel is so worried. Why is he so worried? Plus, why is she so excited? Looks like she's a she's a torturing her. I mean him or her. I don't know. And after beating Team Magma and Brendan again in Slateport, it was time again to get ready for the gym battle with Watson. But as I was fighting some trainers, Chomps the Mawile got electrocuted a bit too hard and was killed. Yes! Yes! 
I hated that Pokemon. I'm glad she, uh, she died. Jaden, let's battle. I, I want to show you how strong I am. Dead. Okay. Ari, this is an electric gym. You're not allowed to fight in here, so you can just wait outside. My Radabon can get promoted after killing this monster. Hey, you steal my monster? After this, my Radabon will finally get evolved! Got robbed again? How dare you! No, no, no! I'd While battling the gym trainers, Onion evolved into Breloom, and together was... with Teriyaki- Sorry guys, uh, I was kinda watching that ad. <laughs> I kinda watch cringe ads for some strange reason, sorry. Why? Oh, oh, I thought that was her team. But, bro, looks like they're about to death counter him. They were able to get another victory. Now we yep, were riding high. Countered. Three gym badges in and no main casualties. With our massive confidence, we decided to take on the Win Straight family's challenge of beating all their family members. I had Squidward out front to get him some ex- That kinda sounded weird. Data animations, what's happening to your script, huh? Experience, but we ran into some troubles with Grandma. Oh god, it's gonna do a high jump kick. We can take him out, but I need a clean switch first. <laughs> so- Bro, you should've left- Bro, you shouldn't have like- You should've got that thing, bro. You know what OP that thing is? The, uh, when it levels up, bro. That thing is so OP. You should have kept it, and the, you, you should have made it fight, like, a bunch of magic carps or something. And then after, it will evolve, and then you would have been probably super OP. I had to sacrifice Hush Child the Wismer, but honestly, that was the safest move to ensure no one else died. Goodbye, Hush Child. You might be missed. While we were heading to Fall Arbor, fighting some trainers, Ari evolved. Oh, look at my big bird! Oh, look at you! Yeah! We were almost to town, but we had to get through the sooty grass on 113. I paused at the right time. I thought it was gonna be a legendary. But I saw the leaf, and then this thing popped out. Oh, jeez. All right, Barf, get in there with the rest of- Let's see what she got. She got the ladybug, gulpin, uh, I don't know that one. Uh, I don't know that one either. And the butt. The butt caterpillar, okay. Um, I walked into Meteor Falls to see Team Aqua and Team Magma arguing about water and rocks. Can I go? So get over here, too bad. They kept complaining and I had to go up the volcano they were blocking to fight Maxi, the Team Magma leader. That was a hard fight. Onion and Teriyaki were able to take out his Mighty Anna and Camerupt, but his Golbat hit hard. I ended up having to switch in Ari and double team up to win the battle. Not the most honorable of strategies, did that bird just turn into a Naruto? But it worked and we're moving on. On the way down the volcano, I ran into a matchup. Oh, hello there, Chad. What? You're a female? Did I Why? This is terrifying. Are you gonna kill this one too? Stutter. We arrived in Lava Ridge Town and started getting through Flannery's gym. During that time, Squidward was almost killed by a fury swiping Kecleon. Fury Oh, oh my gosh, that does a oh lot no. of damage. It's oh not. No. Oh no. 
I hated you, Tickle. You but know. when it came time to battle, he pulled his weight and more. Honestly, with the team, there wasn't much I could have done to Flannery's fire Pokemon, but Squidward came in clutch by learning Bubble Beam, and it was all over for her. Badge 4? under our belt. Brendan met up with us outside the gym to give us goggles so we could walk in the sandstorms. I found a claw fossil, and Anorith was born. I didn't know what to name it, so my friend named him Gary. Now it was time for the fifth gym. After some training, Chad evolved into Machoke, and the team was leveled up. I started the battle with Ari, and after realizing I was in trouble... Ugh, not slacking, bro. Slacking? I hated slacking. Bro, he killed every single one of my Pokemon. I had one Pokemon left. Uh, which was that. That, uh. It was just a simple, like. Uh, let me think. It was a Mammal Swine. It was a Mammal Swine. Just started using attacks on it and it eventually died. I wanted to catch it, but it died. I was going to replace it with uh, one, one of my Pokemon, but it died. So let's watch it. Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh... Ah! I managed to squeak by with more double teams. Ari was barely able to take out the first slacking, so when the second, stronger one came out, I knew I had to use a different strategy. I brought out Onion to leech seed it and try and get more chip damage in, which worked, but he was also killed by slacking's facade, which I thought he could take. Chad was able to finish off the rest of the fight, but that was the first death that actually hurt. I'm not crying. Someone's just chopping onions in here. That's a dark joke. Honestly, Jaden, that's a dark joke. But with every down, there's an up. And Corn stepped up and was ready to fill Onion's spot. While passing through Mauville again, Watson asked us to help him turn off the city's generator. And while down there, I found a Magnemite. Do you want to come with? Okay. We kept on our way, catching Sperky the Electrike, and while fighting some trainers, Korn survived two very close calls. He took a Swords Dance boosted Fury Cutter by Ninjask, and a misclick- I like how she shows us the frame. Why does Taylo look like that? Bro, his mouth is so big, it's covering his whole entire face! from me, which resulted in him tanking a wing attack from a Talo. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Corn! No! Oh. Dude, Corn, I'm so sorry. You're such a trooper. Good news is Squidward evolved while training, so that's neat. We arrived in Fort- Handsome Squidward. Any, uh... Any guy- any Anybody who watched the- Handsome Squidward Spongebob episode. Can you please tell me which episode it is? Please, so, uh, drop it in the comments. Free City, and this was a gym I was really nervous about. Not only did we not have a good team to take on a flying type gym, but Winona's Altaria is notorious for sweeping teams if she sets up too many dragon dances. I went to the grass to train up the team, and the worst happened. Corn was killed by pin missile from a zigzagoon. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 Corn. Seriously, a zigzagoon. Honestly, in my opinion, zigzagoon, the Pokemon, kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know how you died by it. It's kind of a skill issue. Actually, um, yeah. It's gonna be nice here, but, yeah, sorry. Corn! No! Corn! You monster! How could you do this? Is this why you kept trying to kill all the zigzagoons? I want to think that Corn sacrificed himself because he knew we were at too much of a disadvantage going into Winona's gym, and by opening up a space, we could get the type advantage we needed to stand a chance. With a heavy heart, I brought Zip Zap Zop the Magnemite to the team, 
and realized how much more grinding I was gonna have to do. I had to fight so many Merrells to get Zip Zap Zop on par with the rest of the team. You wanna know how many? The move Thunderbolt can be used 15 times before it runs out, and I had to go back to the Pokemon Center almost six separate times to refill it, meaning Zip Zap Zop killed more than 80 Merrell that were- 80? No, oh, nah, bro. Just to level up that thing? That, um, it's kind of worth it because it's pretty. That Pokemon's actually really strong. But, come on! 80. How are you spent so much time on that? living in that lake. Winona led with Swellow, which Zip Zap Zop was able to take out. But she immediately brought out Altaria, which made me very scared because I know she's got Earthquake on that thing. I didn't have a clean switch and I knew no one on the team could take two hits from this cloud bird. So I ultimately decided that I'd have to have Zip Zap Zop paralyze it in exchange for his death. That's called the T-Mobile price lock guarantee. So my price doesn't change? Who wishes ads? can get deleted okay who wishes these ads can get deleted but you might honestly just hear a few minutes uh i mean a few seconds of like loudness so i'm going to block that out for you Oh, yeah, that's what it used to mean, but for new customers, not so much. Mm, I'm not sure you know what lock means. I'm pretty sure I do. Mm, doesn't seem like it. I thought I did. Where'd you want to serve? Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I'm already in, but I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA, for the military community. Goodbye, Zip Zap Zop. You weren't here for long, but your efforts will not be in vain. Oh my god! Somehow- One HP! Zip zap cl zop. Bro. Clutch. Clutch! Bro, you better let him survive. Zip zap zop lived the earthquake on 2 HP like a mad lad. Corn must have been looking down on us for that one because there was definitely a 90% chance Zip Zap Zop was supposed to die there. With that string of luck, I was able to switch Aryan for Zip Zap Zop to predict another earthquake and started chipping away at the Altaria, which was not gonna be easy. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her move. Why the Minecraft parrots? I mean, this is the best. Come on. Why the Minecraft here? It's so It's even more powerful, and I was legitimately sweating. But with what little luck we had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance, and that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe that kill. If that Altaria would have decided. God dang, that's brutal. Okay to attack at any point, she would have one-shotted anyone and everyone on my team. Thank you, Korn. You shined your photosynthesis onto us. From there, I was able to heal up Zip Zap Zop and sweep the rest of her team. The sixth gym badge was ours. Outside the safari zone, I found a Duskull I was able to catch. I tried to have Gary on the team since resurrecting him from the dirt, but he honestly has like no moves that do damage, so I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived in Lily Cove and I tried fishing on the beach for a Pokemon, but Chad punched the Whalmer I reeled up too hard and killed it. We stormed Team Magma's base, and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the ground, an Electrode exploded and almost killed Chad, which was uncalled for. After Wow, I hate the Pokemon Electrode, because whenever I tried to get it for, like, some bait or something, it always explodes, damaging so much of my Pokemon, bro. Beating their admin, they escaped into a submarine, and I went on to fight the next gym. Tate and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late that I was just a tad underleveled for them. 
Um, they don't have any more than two Pokemon, so I think we should be okay. 42? Uh-oh. Sin and Zip Zap Zop made a good duo being able to confuse and paralyze them, but Soul Rock managed to get off a sunny day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face, which totally killed him. That really sucked. He put in so much work for the team and really carried us this far. The rest of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. Squidward came out and together with Sin were able to finish off the duo, getting us our seventh gym badge. <sighs> All right, Sparky, you're up. Ah, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population between Zip Zap Zop and Sparky. I went to Shoal Cave and caught Blubby the Sphiel and went out to take on Maxi one last time. For some reason, I didn't learn my lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza because I was even more underleveled for Maxi. Mighty Anna. It doesn't go down? I mean, it's the same level. I mean, basically, you'll also be able to take them out. This fight was rough. Chad was able to take out his Mighty Anna, but I resorted to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side here because Squidward was killed by a high roll wing attack. The way Pokemon works is there's a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time, and it's kind of based on chance. So even though it looked like Squidward could have lived two wing attacks, Maxi was able to get a low roll on the first one and a high roll on the second which was the death of Squidward. But it wasn't time to give up. We had to persevere for Squidward. Ari came in and took out the Crobat and lived on one HP when hit by Camerapt's rock slide. It was a tough battle, but we squeaked by. Bear. One HP again. Guys, one HP. That's crazy though. And what is this frame? <laughs> Why is there a ghost coming out of him? Her. After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were just a bit more underleveled, we would have been murdered. <laughs> Blubby joined the team and we got to work, eventually arriving in Sutopolis. Steven and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. So I went in there, walked up to Groudon, and Master Ball them immediately. There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc in Celio. Sin beat his Whiskash, and Chad finished off the Milotic. The team was perfect. And after obtaining our final gym badge, I knew we were ready for the Elite Four. We got through Victory Road. Wally tried to fight us for the last time. Yay, you have an OP Pokemon. Good but he just needs to stop. We exited the cave, and there it was. The final challenge. Here we go. Sydney was up first, and honestly, he wasn't a challenge at all. Bald-headed self. <laughs> oh, God dang. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take care of his team with ease. Phoebe wasn't difficult either, with Sin and Blobby being MVPs. Glacio was a bit tougher. Teriyaki was able to take out her Glalies and Sperky could handle her Celios, but her Walrein was the big problem. Walreins are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of damage. I would know, because I have one. I brought out Chad and she was able to get in a good amount of damage, but she was ultimately killed by Blizzard. Sin came out to try and confuse it, but it broke through the confusion and landed a Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level is higher than the user's. But even under all those conditions, it hit and Sin was killed. Two great team members, down and out. Chad was with us for so long and pulled so much weight, and Sin got us through some really tough battles. Even with those losses, we were able to finish Glacia off and move on to the final Elite Four member, Drake. Drake's got a tough team, but we've got a blubby, and she wanted revenge for her fallen comrades. She ice beamed every single one of Drake's Pokemon. Just a straight up massacre. And with that, it was on to the last battle. 
Stephen Stone. I was legitimately nervous. I led with Sperky to take out his Skarmory as quick as possible, and Blubby was able to take out his Claydol and- Honestly, this Elite Four sounds really hard. <sighs> yeah, I think I wouldn't be able to complete this. Agron, but then came his Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross is Steven's strongest Pokemon, so I needed to hinder it as much as I could before it started doing serious damage. I knew his Metagross had Earthquake, which would definitely take out most of my team, so I had to have Sperky Kamikaze to get a par- Not an Earthquake again. Come on! Alysis off. Blubby came out again, and after a lot of hard work, finally beat the Metagross by spamming Surf. Teriyaki was able to finish his Cradilly, and his final Pokemon was Armaldo, Gary's final revenge for getting booted from the team. I brought out Blobby because Teriyaki was pretty weakened, and after realizing she gets two-shotted by him, I knew she was gonna have to die. So with a heavy heart, Blobby pulled off her last surf, getting Armaldo in the red, and was killed. Teriyaki, the Pokemon who's been with- Why is this kinda- Sad. I'm getting my emotions up. Us from the start, who'd seen her friends die in front of her. The OG refused to let any more murder happen. Onion, Corn, Zip Zap Zop, Squidward, Chad, Sin, Sperky, Blubby. Their zeros and ones won't go down in vain. One good kick to the head, and we did it. We completed the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Teriyaki and Woohoo! You guys did it! Congrats. Ari were the only survivors, but the whole team put in a lot of work to get us to number one. A cheers to the true mad lads. Everyone, that is wraps for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. Um, yeah, there was some... There's a few, uh, there's a few good parts and a few bad parts, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on, and notifications on this, on this video. And then after that, you can hit the like, like and subscribe button on Jaden videos. Jaden Animations, that's the channel. See you guys later.